What you will be hearing are Nevada Help Desk student agents. Nevada Help Desk is completely powered by students and can help you with all of your tech needs. From creating a website to text blasts and social media management, go to NevadaHelpDesk.com today to create a ticket. NevadaHelpDesk.com Powered by students. Here to help with all of your tech needs. Create a ticket at NevadaHelpDesk.com today. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. This is Nevada Help Desk here, Cameron, one of the student agents. Today, we're going to be presenting some of the different things that our student agents have been working on in the past couple of weeks. This is the first of many of our weekly Monday shows showing everything that we've been doing from websites to social media to our advertising. Alrighty. Um, so my name is Amit and I am the Google Analytics uh, expert in Nevada Help Desk. And um, I take care of all the Google advertising and Google Analytics uh, in general. With Google Analytics, what we do is we see all our data and move accordingly with our website and our traffic. Uh, it helps us like see the data that we have and how we can um, utilize it to advertise better and um, basically better our website and our social media in general, because it shows us how our audiences are engaging with us and how they are, um, how they like our content and how they like our services, basically. For example, uh, we have many things such as the bounce rate on Google Analytics, which is um, basically what shows you how many people out of the 100% that come into your website leave as soon as they come and that's a big indication and like it helps you a lot because we can show you that um like people are not satisfied with it at times but at the same time you got to keep in mind it depends on what you're doing for example our bounce rate right now is 76.22 percent which is considered high but at the same time we're currently running an advertisement through facebook uh which is for traffic and the traffic is really broad. Therefore, the audience coming in is um, not really familiar with the Nevada Help Desk and, ha and their um, services. So they're bouncing back and they're leaving as soon as they come on. So what we usually do is we re retarget these people and we actually turn them into people who actually understand like what Nevada Help Desk is and what they can do in it, all that information basically. So then the bounce rate slowly starts going down, which is what's happening right now because we have started slowly advertising towards that. So then the uh, bounce rate is going to drop and the lower the bounce rate, the better. Although, like I said, once again, you got to keep in mind about the advertising and everything. Um, so this is the sessions and the users that are uh, using your website and how long do they each stay? This is really important because if they don't stay that long, if they just come in and go, then that means there's something either wrong with your website or the audience that's coming into your website is um, really not familiar with you. So they don't know what you're doing. They don't like you or there's like something wrong. So you got to understand it and like find solutions to it. And this is just more data. And uh, as we go down here, we can see uh, a lot more data such as like, where did the traffic come from? Is it like direct, social media, organic, referral and more? So these are all just like data that can help you improve your company and improve your um, advertisements and your co content in general. And then this shows us like how many people have visited the website in the last 30 days, seven days, one day, and then there's like more information here. So this is all just information that helps you um, better your company in general. You can use all this data to like improve your content, improve your um, services and everything. So especially for advertising, this is really important because here we can see like 88.1% of our audience is from the United States, meaning if we advertise to the United States, we would have a better chance um, with our audiences than advertising to uh, like India, for example. So that's also another thing. And it also shows us like where our audiences come from uh, and like what uh, devices they use. So when you're like adjusting uh, your 
content or your like social media, this will also be something really crucial because they will get to see um, basically like, oh, they're coming from desktop. So then you would advertise accordingly. If they're coming from a mobile, you, could, you would probably advertise in like Instagram or something like that because more uh, Instagram users use mobile. So this is just all data to help you basically improve your content and your um, company in general. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And yeah, we so can go over to data. Cameron with his Instagram. Yeah, yes, so that's all that data is just so that you can increase the, the flow to a website. And this is one of the services that Nevada Help Desk provides, right? Correct, yeah. We basically collect data for you and do all this and you know, it helps you not in only not only in like your website, it also can help you in your advertising, like I said before, because according to this data, you would adjust your um, advertisements accordingly and like move forward with that. Fantastic. All right, thank you. Um, then I'll, uh, I'll pass the virtual mic over to Layla, who's been working on an assortment of different websites that we've been getting. Layla is one of our fantastic student agents that's doing all the web development. She's assisted with creating the Nevada Help Desk.com website. And she's doing other websites. Layla? Hi. Um, so one of the recent websites that I've been working on is the Urban Chamber of Commerce website. And um, I'll share my screen. Uh, yep. OK. So. Uh, first of all, this is the Urban Chamber of Commerce Las Vegas website. Can you guys see it? It's coming up. Oh, okay. I think, yeah. Is it up now? Mm hmm Okay. So um, the IT Roundtable is one of the programs of the Urban Chamber of Commerce. And that's the website that I designed. And um, it might take a while to load, but I'll just open it from here. Yeah, so um, this was actually a program that we were part of, and we still are. And we had um, two sessions done where students and members of the Urban Chamber of Commerce would come and talk about a specific topic. So um, first of all, we have the title, and then here is a slider of all the pictures and numbers. Uh, there are some important numbers as well. For example, they had a meeting with the governor's office. I think this is a senator. Um, and then there is a picture of us as well uh, with the FBI. And then we have the members, uh, Ken Evans as the president and our tech queen as well. And it just lists all numbers and um, their descriptions. And then when we go down, um, you will see the upcoming events. And we have one in a few days. And we just listed our featured special guest. And there's a link here to a register that you can go to. And it's an Eventbrite link. And um, yeah, it's totally free. So that, that's like where you register. And we have some past events, as I mentioned before, this is the um, FBI event for students. And then they also had one with Dr. Ann Milkovich. And um, you can find more down here with all the past links. As you can see, um, they had several. So if you are interested in like what they have been doing, you can check it out here as well. And that's all I have to say. Yeah, I'd like to say the one where you brought up the governor's office, that was, I'd like to give an honorable mention to Governor Sisolak because he was there. And that was that was quite a cool one. Very, mm -hmm. very neat to be able to be there with the governor. Mm -hmm. well, thank you for the website. It's fantastic work you've done. Uh, definitely will be going to that IT roundtable. I'm very excited mm -hmm. to see what we get presented. Uh, now I will pass the mic over to Armani. Armani, how you doing? Hello, I'm pretty good. Uh, That's good. I, All yeah. right, so you've been working with Unity 
and all the game development. So you're doing a summer boot camp, correct? Yep, I I'm part of the I'm part of a summer boot camp uh, that works or that Nevada Health Desk students participate in, and we essentially teach young kids, uh, elementary school, middle school, about a lot of different things from web development to me personally, game design. That's awesome. Uh, um, I, mm -hmm. Yeah, can you show us some of the stuff you've been doing? Of course. So this is something that the kids would actually, uh, the kids in the class would be able to actually create. Should be coming up just uh, just in a minute. There it is. So uh, even though we won't be able to get into much, especially with what's going on in the world and uh, distancing and just the way the things are and time-wise, they'll still be able to make a world that looks exactly like this, completely open world where you can have your own character run around a world with some basic trees and hills and mountain tops. So yeah, and we'd be using Unity for this, which would also include uh, redesign, coding, and a bunch of other neat stuff. That's fantastic. That's going to be yeah. so cool seeing these kids learn how to create these games and see later on how much this takes them. Yep. Yeah. So awesome. that, that's, that's really about it. All right. Thank you, Amani, uh, for showing me that, or showing us that. Sorry. Um, I would like to also update that the IT roundtable is this Wednesday virtually, so we will not be going in place, but you can still see it and be virtual kind of like this and go see <clears throat> at 4 p.m. It'll be 4 p.m. this Wednesday. We'll be doing our virtual IT roundtable. Now I'd like to pass the virtual mic over to Gabby and her dog to one of our other web development student agents and what sh her fantastic work she's been doing with other websites. Gabby? Uh, hi, so this is my dog. His name is Spike. He's here just to accompany us. But uh, I'm on the multimedia team as well as um, website development. So, I so I'm going to share my screen and basically show some of the things that I've been doing. So uh, basically, I've been editing audio for this um, this website called 24hourgospel.com. And basically, they are a um, they're a radio show that broadcasts basically everywhere. And some of the top charts here, I have actually edited their um, their interviews, such as Dave Shirley. I don't want to butcher her name, but Dave Shwala and some of the other artists here. I basically go behind the scenes and I edit their broadcast before they're live. And then I also made the intro that you guys saw that played before our live stream. And I also edited the intro and outro. And then here's also basically a fake website for a make-believe pho restaurant because pho, everyone loves pho. But um, basically here would be their homepage. They would say basically whatever they want about themselves, their story. But obviously if they don't want this on their homepage, I can edit that as well. As well as putting an interactive menu where they can click through photos as well as seeing the price for it. It's loading right now. But there's also links to their Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Yelp, so that people can see their reviews. And if it would load. So this is their menu. It's interactive, so people can click through pictures for for example, pictures of food, or they could also put pictures of their restaurant there. And I could also insert locations and directions to their locations. So I have their addresses, email, phone numbers they can contact, as long with reviews. And what I was able to do for um, this website, since it is a restaurant, and with COVID-19 going on, they can't take walk-ins anymore. 
So they'll have to put in their first name, last name, phone number, and all that stuff. And it'll go on to the back end of the website. So whoever owns it will be able to click on it and make the reservation and confirm it through email since they're putting their email address and phone number, whichever their preferred is that they put under their comments. And that's wow. what I've been doing so far. That's fantastic. I love how up to date your website is from being able to show locations and everything. And, you know, I always love being able to find the menu online. It saves me so much time because I'm so I'm so picky. I never know what to eat. Even the reservations, it makes it so much easier. People might a lot of people will definitely be using this type of website. Yeah, that's fantastic. Thank you, Gabby. Thank you. Like, says bye. <laughs> dog. There's the dog, too. Gotta love all dogs. <clears throat> all right, fine. Uh, one last thing um, with the IT Roundtable is if anyone's looking to check it out, go to uccitrt.com and then scroll down. That's Layla's beautiful website. If you scroll down to the bottom of that website, you will find the sign up link and then you can sign up for the virtual website. Again, that's uccitrt.com. All right, finally ending off with me, saving the best for last, <laughs> uh, is with the social media. I'm on the social media team and I've been working with Amet and a few other people working on creating posts for Nevada Help Desk and soon other companies. Uh, if my screen gets shared in a second, you can see our Instagram account. And with our Instagram, oh, our Instagram account, everything that we've been posting. So starting off at the top, <clears throat> we have some great some great posts, all not all done by me, but our team is fantastic at creating really uh, enticing and interesting posts. And we've been learning how to get even better and create more unison posts, more unison colors, and just really increase our reach, along with also being able to use Amet's great knowledge from his advertising and everything. With that, we've been really growing and increasing our followership. As you can see, we have a lovely 3,503 followers. You can never forget that last three. And with that, we have been posting daily, Monday through Friday, showing different things. Like this was Friday's post. And we talked about the fact that we are Nevada's only statewide technology help desk and we're powered by students, hence the student agents. We also, our headquarters, when COVID isn't happening, is Zappos. I love going to Zappos. I don't think anyone doesn't love going to Zappos. It's a fantastic place. The energy there is so positive, and I love the free soup. <laughs> uh, so I miss there a lot, but we have a bunch of photos of us being there in Zappos before this entire COVID thing and not being able, being locked down in house and everything. Here's like one of our ones. This was a fantastic time to meet the Miss America 2020, be able to meet everyone. Just, that was a great experience. <clears throat> so that's our Instagram account. We also have Twitter as well as, as well as our Facebook. So on Twitter, you can see some of the same, but it's a little bit different. And then I don't have the Facebook link that quickly, so I'll just, they, they all look the same because they're all unison, but those are our three social media accounts. I don't know if anyone anyone has anything else to, that they would like to add about anything they've been working on or what they're looking forward to work on. You're welcome to add it right now. Um, I would also like to add that uh, with the boot camp, even though we would, oh, even though I only showed one game, we would actually be working on two. And to go a little bit into more in depth of what the kids would learn or would learn is we would be using Unity and Blender to work on uh, as just as a reiteration, 3D modeling and uh, coding. So yeah, just another shout out to uh, sign up for the boot camp uh, if you do have little ones, and we'd be happy to teach them. Yes. That boot camp registration is for, or the boot camp registration, you can find that at techqueenelitetraining.org. Uh, uh, the ages for that are 7 through 12. So we're teaching pretty young ones there. So that's going to, they're just starting their technology role real early. 
It's fantastic. <clears throat> Again, that website is techqueenelitetraining.org. That's where you can sign your little ones up to go to this boot camp. Well, that's been it. It's been a fantastic Monday live stream, showing off some of the fantastic things that our student agents have been doing. So, so blown away by what we're doing. It's just, it's an honor to be working at Nevada Help Desk. We thank you for watching. Have a good night. NevadaHelpDesk.com Nevada Help Desk is completely powered by students and can help you with all of your tech needs. From creating a website to text blasts and social media management, go to NevadaHelpDesk.com today to create a ticket.